said. Of course I did and mm -hmm. I, 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 my vote was uh, in up country. Mm -hmm. I traveled uh, to up country to vote and I, maybe I want to tell Irene one thing. Huh? This was uh, your what time to vote? Second. Huh? Second time. Yeah. Okay, okay. Irene, uh, if you don't vote, you have no moral responsibility to whatsoever question. to lecture anyone in this country. Thank you. <laughs> because you are the reasons why we have this, all this, whatever you are complaining. You don't go, you don't go out to vote, and you come here telling us, oh, oh, so and so. Why didn't you go out and vote for anyone? I voted in 2017. That is why I am here to question mm -hmm. that government. I am not questioning but the government that I did not vote the, for. The presidential candidate were for. So you had an option of voting in Raila, you had Druto, you had Mwaure, you had Wajakoya. So uh, I think also as young people, there is, uh, there's one thing, uh, there's a nice uh, observation I made in this election. Mm -hmm. I think our generation is, a, can we call it a, a dot com or a social media generation, where people discuss and uh, complain about a lot of things online. Uh, now, when the, the real no day, option. if you look at the statistics of IEBC, the, the, the voters who turnout. voted, uh, the turnout and the people voted in, the, actually, they are the whole people, the age of my mom and uh, like uh, the whole people. This young generation, they were in TikTok and uh, WhatsApp and such and such. But when now the election come to an end, uh, right now, they are the one complaining out that uh, there is no jobs, there are such and such. You people have to learn that. Uh, like uh, there's a philosopher, Plato, said that uh, the reason as to why we have bad governance is because people don't come out to express their will. Remember that the voting is a constitutional right. You have an opportunity to choose whoever, even if you want to vote for anyone, no one is going to punish you. So hmm. it is time, I think, uh, we, we, uh, we, we, we come into reality that we are the reason as to why we have some maybe bad governance. Like, now let me ask you a question. If, if you never voted in for a president, what of an MCA? You see, there are leaders who you interact with one on one. Mm -hmm. MCA, governor. These things affect you. The road you are using in your home, in whatever. Even if you don't vote for, in for a president, because uh, the president maybe you will never meet him and you will never come to your place. But an MCA you can approach. You have a, you have a issues like bursary and such. So, uh, Irene, next time please don't uh, just say that because. Uh, I don't see an option. You could have gone and uh, chose the lesser evil because we had the option. Okay. <clears throat> you see, talking of MC, I really agree with you. Mm -hmm. But in our area, mm. we were actually forced on an MC. Mm -hmm. This story is a zoning, actually mm -hmm. found us unaware. Move mm -hmm. to another Like, mm -hmm. we, we want the person that the people had chosen. At a, at a, yani the most popular candidate in our area was actually zoned out. Mm -hmm. Like, they said, no, this area is for a specific party. Mm -hmm. I remember I got very angry. Mm -hmm. I, I cried. I, I, I was very angry to the point that my tears were actually rolling. Because I was wondering, if this is the person people are feeling so confident in, mm -hmm. that they were actually prepared to vote him in. And then, a party just comes in and said, no. Mm -mm. Embakasi North had this and this and this, so this area is supposed to be of this party. So our area was actually party, party based, not people based. Like we d we had no choice. But, Somebody in my ears asking. But no one vo uh, vo uh, forces one to vote in. Like I, you go to a bar. Like when I went uh, inside the the voting place, I was given the paper, so I True. had the. I had my, my choice, choice to, to select whoever I want, even if they force for me like this nonsense my that has been paid around that six piece. That's nonsense. You don't go to vote for a party. You go vote for an ideology. The person wasn't even on the ballot. He was zoned out. Like Okay, phew. so there was nobody else on that ballot who appealed no. to you? Mm -mm. Mike? I want no, to tell I'm Irene focused. that uh, an imperfect, imperfect action is better than a perfect, perfect action. I think you'll agree me, with me uh, that that's true. And uh, as Obed has said, she has no moral authority to question anyone about uh, the government because she did not vote. And I hope in the next interview that we are together, she'll not question our government. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, I'm going to bring it. But she did vote in 2017. And she said the reason she didn't vote this time round is because she voted in a government in uh, 2017 and it fell far short of her expectations. Hiya, Basi. Uh, what in 2017?